God. Thank you, Jesus. He said he took him deep. And
So he, she tied him in braids, cut all the braids off. She said, What's these girl? He, he came out thinking, thinking, but he just was thinking I'm going to be as strong as I was before. And he came out, but the strength was gone. Now you may think when the test comes, you're going to be as strong as you were before. But honey, you have been praying and seeking God. You're going to fail the test. Allow 
him to be the father. <laughs> the twelve tribes of Israel. Isn't that something? And yet, he cheated his brother. He, he, he was a cheater. He just really was. So don't dwell on who you were before Christ came in. Don't dwell on that. As a matter of fact, you don't have to, if you want to boast. First Corinthians, I just quoted 1 31. Let him who boast, boast in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He chose the lowly things. Now the scripture that I have is the 28th verse. And this world, and the despised things, and the things that are not to nullify the things that are, so that no one would boast before him. Thank you, Jesus.
we don't walk in pride. Because he said, you can choose yourself. That's right. I chose you. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And so he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Praise the Lord. Praise Are you glad you're chosen today? Yes. Yeah. Are you glad you're chosen?
sun testifies, the stars testify, the flowers are beginning to bloom because of spring and they are testifying that my Redeemer lives. Are you testifying by the life that you are living in Christ because he went to the cross and gave you life that you might live a new life? Are you testifying not by your mouth, but by the deeds that you do? Of course, the mouth does testify, but the deeds testify a little louder. Amen. Christ came to take away the sins of the world. And he took your sins. And he took mine. And he hung them on that cross, cruel cross, so that you didn't have to hang there. Who have you told about it? Are you appreciative of what God has done? Are you appreciative? of what Christ did in your behalf. The best way that you can thank him is by doing his will and hearing to his purpose in your life. Whatever he has destined you to do or be, if you're able to say yes to the Lord, and no to Satan, then you are signifying that you know that he lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Father, because we know that the blood has never lost its power. Because we know that you are the same but yesterday, today, and forever. We know that you ever live, hallelujah, to make intercession for us. And we thank you for it. And we accept. Personally. Yes. That which also I'm passing on yes. to you. Yes. 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 Yes.
the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. When he gave thanks, and we do give him thanks. He broke it and said, this is my body. His body was broken for him. So do this and remember to me, eat the body. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saved this cup. It's a new covenant in my blood. Do this with every...